Welcome to a service of worship as we have gathered in the presence of God to join Emma and Tim in holy marriage. This is gonna be a beautiful day. God created marriage. The love and grace we see in God-centered marriage is an expression of the image of God. What do you think? Thank you. Give it up, Dad. Sorry. Good thing I saw you now. <laughs> Tim, where do we start? We first heard of him as Emma's friend. Despite being friends, all of us knew that no boy would randomly drive up to her house, play Mario, and meet the parents without at least having a little bit of a crush. Well, clearly it all worked out for the best, and honestly, a testament to Tim's devotion for Emma, as no drive, distance, or schedule could keep him from being with her. Lord, we thank you for this day, um, and we just all just take a deep breath in and out, and in the midst of the fanfare and the photos and the logistics, just stop to say, this is what joy looks like and what a gift. Just Tim and Emma together, y'all are truly the best and a blessing. It's incredible to watch what you've done together. I'm most excited for what you have ahead of you and continue to inspire and change the lives of those around you in a positive way. Their love and care for each other is incredible. I think that I can speak for both Annie and I when I say that we might <laughs> we might have mentioned our differences with Emma, but in reality, all we truly want is to keep following in your footsteps if it means we're lucky enough to have a love and marriage like you one day. And now, I mean, look at you. You're all grown up, beautiful, independent woman on your own wedding day. And I've definitely learned a bunch of things from you. But I want you to know that you are my role model for how people should treat one another. You're the most caring and compassionate person that I know, and I wanna grow up and be like you. Emma and Tim, as we bear witness to your love for one another and your promises to each other made in the presence of God, may we also be reminded of God's great love for us. So you've made it. You've made it. All the planning and dreaming and waiting has come to this moment. God has brought you together and you've already experienced a glimpse of how this relationship will work. This is a moment unlike any other moment in your life. You're standing in the presence of God. You're telling all of your family and all of your friends and everyone important to you that you have chosen one another and that even though you don't know what life will bring, you know you want to do it together. It takes courage to make that kind of promise. You have faith in your love for each other because God's love changes us. Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love God with your whole heart and to love one another, and your marriage is the primary relationship where that will play out. It's an intentional choice, a humble choice, to enter into a whole new frame of existence. And it takes a lifetime of decisions, daily living, laughter, and tears, to grow into your greatest life's work, bringing glory to God through the way you love one another. I, Tim, take you, Emma, to be my wedded wife, and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband. I, Emma, take you, Tim, to be my wedded husband, and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I declare that Tim and Emma are now husband and wife. You may kiss your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Tim Miller. All right, so Emma, um, first of all, you are awesome and amazing and beautiful. And Timmy is so, so lucky to have you. From the second we met you in that parking lot at University of Richmond five years ago, it's really cool that you're officially family now and I can call you my sister. Thank you for being there to take care of my little brother. We are thrilled that you both found each other. Marriage is not always rainbows and ponies and balloons, right? But you know what? On the flip side, it is the most awesome adventure to be navigating life with your best friend through good times and bad times, knowing that you're there for each other. To Mr. and Mrs. Timmy Miller on a long, long, loving, successful marriage.
Cheers.